Welcome to a fascinating journey into the future of air-to-air -air combat as we delve into the potential of the Next Generation Close Combat Missile or NGCCM. The NGCCM is a promising innovation in the world of military technology set to revolutionize air-to-air -air combat as we know it. This missile, under development by the Indian Air Force, is expected to feature an advanced guidance system, a high-speed propulsion system and a high-explosive fragmentation warhead. It's designed for rapid engagement at close ranges with a fire-and-forget capability that allows the launching aircraft to disengage swiftly after release. In addition to these formidable features, the NGCCM will be optimized for aerodynamics and integrated with the Indian Air Force's fighter aircraft like the Tejas, Su-30 MKI and Rafale. Stay tuned as we break down the technical marvel that is the NGCCM. At the heart of the NGCM is its advanced guidance system. This system is anticipated to feature a remarkable blend of technologies including inertial navigation, GPS and imaging infrared or IIR seekers. The integration of these technologies is what sets the NGCCM apart. By leveraging the strengths of each system, the NGCCM can engage targets with pinpoint accuracy, even at close range. Inertial navigation uses motion, rotation and the gravitational pull of the Earth to calculate positional data, ensuring the missile stays on course. GPS, on the other hand, offers real-time location data with global coverage. Combined, these two provide a robust and reliable navigation system. But the real game-changer is the inclusion of IIR seekers. IIR seekers are passive sensors that detect and track the infrared energy emitted by a target. By doing so, they allow the missile to home in on its target without emitting any signals that could be detected by enemy forces. Now, let's talk about the missile's impressive range and speed. The NGCCM is reported to have a range of 50 to 60 kilometers. This means that the missile can be launched from a safe distance, keeping the launching aircraft out of harm's way. The speed of the NGCCM is equally impressive. It travels at Mach 2 to 3. That's twice to three times the speed of sound. This incredible speed allows the missile to reach its target quickly, reducing the time that enemy forces have to react. The combination of a comprehensive guidance system, impressive range and high speed makes the NGCCM a formidable opponent. It can engage targets accurately, quickly and at a safe distance. This gives the Indian Air Force a significant advantage in air-to-air -air combat scenarios. With this combination of range and speed, the NGCCM is a formidable tool in air-to-air -to -air combat. The NGCCM is not just swift, it packs a punch too. The missile's warhead is a key component of its destructive power. It's likely to feature a high-explosive fragmentation warhead, designed to inflict maximum damage on aerial targets. The choice of warhead is not arbitrary, but rather tailored to the specific requirements of the Indian Air Force. Imagine a bursting sphere of deadly shards, tearing through enemy aircraft with ruthless efficiency. Each fragment is a messenger of destruction, carrying the force of the explosion to the target. This kind of warhead is particularly effective against a wide range of aerial threats, from manned aircraft to drones and even other missiles. But a missile is more than just its warhead. It's also about how it gets to its target. That's where the propulsion system comes in. The NGCCM's propulsion is expected to be a solid-fueled rocket motor. Why solid fuel? Well, solid fuel offers a high thrust-to-weight ratio, enabling the missile to accelerate quickly and maintain its speed during flight. This propulsion system is like the heart of the missile, pumping energy into its flight and driving it towards its target. It's a complex piece of engineering, designed to withstand the intense heat and pressure of rocket flight. And it needs to be reliable, because in combat, there's no room for error. The beauty of this system is in its simplicity. Solid fuel is stable and safe to handle, reducing the risk of accidents during handling and storage. And once ignited, it burns efficiently and predictably, providing a consistent thrust that can be controlled with precision. So, you see, the NGCCM is more than just a missile. It's a finely tuned instrument of warfare designed with a singular purpose, to find, track and destroy its target. Its warhead and propulsion system are key components of this mission, each playing a vital role in the missile's performance. The NGCCM is a lethal combination of power and speed, a true game-changer in air-to-air -air combat. Now, let's talk about what makes the NGCCM so agile and accurate 
the aerodynamics of the NGCCM play a significant role in its performance. By optimizing the missile's shape, size, and control surfaces, the designers have been able to minimize drag and maximize maneuverability. The shape is carefully engineered to cut through the air, while the size is balanced to ensure optimum speed and distance. The control surfaces, including the fins and wings, are designed to provide stability during flight and allow the missile to make sharp turns when needed. But what about when it's time to lock onto a target? That's where the NGCCM Seeker and Sensor Suite comes into play. This advanced system is designed to detect and track targets in high clutter environments. The suite could include a variety of sensors such as radar, electro-optical and infrared. Each of these technologies brings its own advantages. Radar can effectively scan and lock onto targets even at long distances. Electro-optical sensors provide high-resolution imagery, allowing the missile to identify and track specific targets. Infrared sensors are particularly useful for detecting heat signatures, making them ideal for tracking aircraft and other heat-emitting targets. But these sensors don't work in isolation. They are integrated into a cohesive system, working together to provide a comprehensive picture of the battlefield. This enables the NGCCM to accurately engage targets, even in challenging conditions. Moreover, these sensors are also essential for the missile's fire-and-forget capability. Once the missile has locked onto a target, the launching aircraft can disengage, leaving the NGCCM to track and engage the target independently. This not only increases the safety of the launching aircraft, but also allows it to engage multiple targets simultaneously. So, from the shape of its nose to the sensors in its tail, every aspect of the NGCM is meticulously designed to optimize its performance. By minimizing drag and maximizing maneuverability, the missile can reach its target quickly and accurately. And with an advanced sensor suite, it can detect and track targets in a wide range of conditions. With these features, the NGCCM can navigate complex environments and engage targets with remarkable precision. Integration and reliability are key aspects of the NGCCM. The Next Generation Close Combat Missile, or NGCCM, is not a standalone system. It's a component of a larger aerial warfare ecosystem. This means it needs to play well with others. Specifically, it must integrate seamlessly with the Indian Air Force's fighter jets like the Tejas, Su-30 MKI and Rafale. This involves creating compatible launchers, avionics and software. It's like fitting a new high-tech engine into an old car. You need to ensure not just that the engine fits, but that it can communicate and cooperate with the rest of the vehicle systems. But integration is more than just compatibility. It's about synergy. The NGCCM and its host aircraft need to operate as a single cohesive unit, each enhancing the other's capabilities. The missile's advanced guidance system, for instance, might be able to feed data back to the aircraft, improving its situational awareness, or the aircraft's radar could help guide the missile, extending its effective range. It's a two-way street. Now, let's talk about redundancy. In the world of missile design, redundancy doesn't mean unnecessary repetition. It's about fail-safes, it's about having backups for your backups, because when you're moving at twice the speed of sound, you don't get second chances. The NGCCM's design would need to incorporate multiple redundant systems to ensure reliability. This could mean having two separate guidance systems, so if one fails, the other can take over. Or it could involve multiple propulsion systems, so if one is damaged, the missile can still reach its target. But redundancy isn't just about hardware, it's also about software. The NGCCM might have multiple layers of error checking and correction in its code to prevent software glitches from causing hardware failures. Because in the heat of battle, a software bug can be just as deadly as a bullet. The NGCCM is a testament to the fusion of cutting-edge technology and meticulous design. It's a shining example of how strategic integration and comprehensive redundancy can come together to create a missile system that's greater than the sum of its parts. The next generation close combat missile represents a significant leap forward in air-to-air -air combat capabilities. This revolutionary technology, featuring an advanced guidance system and a high-speed propulsion mechanism, is set to redefine the rules of engagement in the skies. With a range of 50 to 60 kilometers and the ability to reach twice to thrice the speed of sound, the NGCCM promises quick and efficient targeting. Its high explosive fragmentation warhead and robust sensor suite ensure maximum damage to aerial targets, even in high clutter environments.
The NGCCM's integration with Indian Air Force's fighter aircraft like the Tejas, Su-30 MKI and Rafale is a testament to its versatility and adaptability. With built-in redundancy and fail-safes, the NGCCM is designed for reliability and minimal risk of failure. This missile system underscores India's commitment to maintaining a strong and modern air force capable of defending its skies against any threat. With the NGCCM, the future of air-to-air -air combat looks brighter and more formidable than 